Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a Capture One tutorial for you. Um, this is a tutorial kind of aimed at beginners and people new to Capture One but if you're a more advanced user you may find this useful as well so please stay tuned. So one of the things about Capture One that is both a positive and a negative is there's often multiple ways of doing something and for some users this is great because it makes it really flexible but for other users it can be quite confusing sometimes the way to do something isn't immediately obvious and one good example of that is rotating images so in this video i'm going to go through all the different ways of rotating images in capture one because there's actually quite a few and if you're coming from lightroom it may not be immediately obvious as to which one is which so in this video I am going to show you. Uh, I counted them all and there's at least six different ways of rotating images so let me dive right in and we'll start at the start. If you are coming from Lightroom you're more than likely going to go to the crop tool as a way to rotate images but this isn't actually the default way to rotate images in Capture One. To get to the crop tool you just simply click on the crop icon here in the toolbar. So when you first switch to the crop tool you can see there's no immediately obvious way to rotate here. Um, there's actually two different ways of rotating within the crop tool. So if I drag in an image, and if I drag in the crop marquee here, uh, once I'm outside it, I can actually rotate that way. But that's not much use to you if you don't actually want to crop the image. However, if you hold down the command key or control on Windows, you temporarily switch to the rotate tool, which will allow you to rotate the image like this. So uh, it seems complicated, but it becomes muscle memory after a while. Uh, just hold down the command key when you're rotating in the crop tool. And once you're finished, you can press the return key and you're back out of the crop tool. You'll switch back to whatever tool you had selected previously. Okay, so that's number one. The default way of rotating in Capture One is actually using the rotate tool. And you'll find this up here beside the crop tool. Um, but there's actually multiple tools within this you can see what I mean about it getting confusing. Um, you see we have straighten, rotate freehand, rotate left and rotate right. So the default is straighten. So if I select this um, and again if you're a new user this is probably the first thing you've come across and you've gone to drag on the image and you get this line and you're like what the hell um, and then you end up at that and you're frustrated and you're going ah, bloody capture one. Okay so let me just undo that. Um, this is actually quite a useful tool. Um, don't know why it's the default but anyway what you do is you simply drag out a line um, that's perfect for things with a clear horizon so you drag out a line like a ruler or a spirit level and once you let go it'll straighten the image that way and to get back off for some inexplicable reason the return key doesn't work in the rotate tool it only works in the crop tool so you have to just use uh, manually switch back to the tool you had um, okay so that's number two <laughs> Let's find another image here. So, yeah, it's a bit, this one's a bit better. Um, this, again, it's not too far off, but we just want to fix the horizon. So, uh, we go back up here, and this time we'll select rotate freehand. And now you can see I can just drag on the image, and it will rotate. So, this is basically the same as using the command key and the crop tool, um, it's the same tool. Um, and again, once you're finished, just pop back over to either the hand tool or the arrow tool or whatever other tool you are on, and your image is straightened. So, what happens if you have an image that is the orientation is wrong? So, for example, like this, um, sometimes for whatever reason the camera might not pick up on the correct orientation, or if you have an older camera that doesn't automatically correct and you want to fix it. So, if you were coming from Lightroom, it would simply be a matter of uh, using the command key in the square brackets or the control key if you're on Windows. But in in uh, Capture One, there's actually multiple ways of doing this as well. So the first one, you'll find it in the rotation tool pop up. So we have rotate left and rotate right. And these are tools as well. So once you select it, you have to actually click on the image and probably would have been better with rotate left there. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. So this is kind of useful if you have lots of images like this. You can just kind of go through the thumbnails and click on them. Um, but it's a bit kind of it's a bit kind of long-winded if you're on uh, a single image um, and you just want to quickly fix it. The other way to do this is if you go over to the Lens Tool tab, which I already have selected here, and if you scroll down or if you move down, you'll see we have the Rotation and Flip tool. 
And here we have the left and right buttons. So this basically does the same thing. And there's also keyboard shortcuts for this. Um, they are Command Option L, so Command Option L and Command Option R, which let's face it, aren't ideal to keyboard shortcuts. Um, but if you want, you can set them to the same as Lightroom. And to do this, all you have to do is go up to Edit, Edit Keyboard Settings, and what you'll need to do is create a new set because you can't alter the default set. So just create a new set, call it something simple, and then search for left. So we have rotate left, and then we can change this to use the same as the Lightroom core shortcut. And then we just go for right, and then change this as well. So now we have the same keyboard shortcuts as Lightroom. Okay, that I think we're on four. I've lost count. <laughs> so the next thing we have is there's actually an auto rotate tool in Capture One. Um, this has been in it for a long time, but it used to only work with uh, images shot with phase one backs um, because they, I don't know why, uh, I presume they had some kind of leveling information in them. Um, but in Capture 122, I think it was 22, they added a new AI based um, auto rotate tool, which is supposed to analyze the image and automatically straighten it. Um, it doesn't work very well. In fact, it's kind of laughably bad, but occasionally it does work, but I'm going to show you how to use it anyway. So let me switch back. Let me switch to the hand tool here. So I'm going to select another image. So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to this one. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to reset the rotation on this. Okay, so the auto rotate tool is here. You see it's in the rotation and flip ta uh, tool tab. And if we click on the auto rotate icon, um, it's supposed to straighten it. And as you can see, <laughs> it's laughably bad. Now, what I have found is it doesn't work when there's a clear horizon, which you would think would be the obvious one where it would work really well with, but it doesn't work at all. Um, however, if there's an image where there isn't a particularly clear horizon, it seems to work reasonably well. So for example, this shot here, I just hit rotate and as you can see that's pretty much perfect so I don't know why that doesn't work like that but that's that's pretty much how it works or how it's supposed to work um, hopefully it'll get better in a future version but as it is it's it's not really uh, much use to you um, there is actually an yet another way to rotate which I've kind of forgotten about <laughs> there's so many <laughs> and down here in the tail as well we still we actually also have this slider so this it's a bit more clunky than using the actual rotate tool, which is why it's one of those things that I don't ever really use, but um, that is yet another way. So there you have it. There is all the different ways of rotating images in Capture One. And I hope you, this gives you kind of an idea into kind of the philosophy around Capture One as well, is that there's often multiple different ways of doing things. So if you find something clunky, um, more often than not, there's probably a different way of doing it. Sometimes not, sometimes it's just clunky. Um, but again, it's one of those things that takes a bit of getting used to. Once you've used Capture One for a while, the fact that there are multiple ways of doing things is actually really flexible. And it's one of the things that I actually like about the software. But I can understand from a beginner's point of view, it can be sometimes frustrating. And it seems like there's a lot to learn. But again, it's one of those things you get the hang of quickly enough. Okay, I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Okay, see you next time.